The Australian Transport Safety Bureau reminds helicopter operators involved in overwater operations of the importance of undertaking regular helicopter underwater escape training, or HEWIT, for all crew and regular passengers to increase their survivability in the event of an in-water accident or ditching. Helicopter crews have credited their surviving a collision with water with the skills and techniques learned and practised as part of undertaking regular HEWIT. Following an engine failure, the pilot of a UH-1H helicopter, registered Oscar November Zulu, used his recent Hewitt competency to escape from his submerged helicopter when it collided with water during firefighting operations near Eden on the New South Wales far south coast in 2020. I was just in the hollow with the bucket touching the water. That's when uh, I got a bit of a growling noise. So I, I dropped the bucket off and I thought oh, something bad's going to happen, which it did. So the engine failed and I was just in dead man's curve at 100 feet no airspeed and, uh, and flew a lot of pitch. So as helicopters do, it rolled upside down and then uh, and, and sank to the bottom. Hewitt involves a replica of a helicopter cabin being lowered into a swimming pool and rolled inverted to simulate an underwater escape scenario. During the training, students practice bracing for impact, identifying primary and secondary exit points and surfacing techniques. Hewitt training on the... On the Pretty keen on it. it uh, without a doubt, saved my life. I can remember thinking, oh, I've got this, I've been here before. One of the things that you don't sort of think about when you do the training, it's, it's all the, you know, okay, this is where I need to put my hands, this is what I need to do, but it actually mentally calmed me down. There was no hint of panic because I knew what I'd been doing. So I think the, uh, the mental aspect of having done that training apart from the, you know, what you need to do physically, is pretty important because it just puts you in a, in a better state of mind to handle it. I was still in the seat when it hit the bottom. I waited until everything stopped and, and completely submerged. That is part of the training too, is you wait for everything to stop before you get out. If, if, you, if you get out of your seat before things have stopped crashing, then you just end up a piece of debris. In addition to Hewitt, the ATSB is also encouraging all crew and regular passengers involved in overwater operations to carry on them an emergency breathing system, or EBS, to provide further survivability in underwater escape occurrences. Uh, what we've found is having an emergency breathing system, now he didn't have one in this case, and he's been very fortunate to get a breath of air from the back of the helicopter, but we've also re-emphasised uh, that importance that that would have given him more time. And particularly if he hadn't had the presence of mind to find uh, a pocket of air, the emergency breathing system would have given him more time to get up there as well. So there's some very important safety lessons, those to be taken away from the rest of the industry. Uh, ultimately, whilst it was uh, the loss of the aircraft, it didn't lead to a loss of life, which is a great outcome in this particular incident. Research into helicopter overwater accident survival consistently reports drowning as the leading cause of fatalities due to the inability of the occupant to hold their breath long enough to escape. The ATSB takes this opportunity to reinforce the importance of having Hewitt training, to having it current, but also to looking at other safety measures that can aid survival. And an EBS, an emergency breathing system, is one of those such things. And that's certainly something that we'll be putting out to industry and to all of those who fly, particularly over water. And it's something that I know that this particular pilot and his company are adopting now as a policy for their pilots to have the training, but to have an EBS. A number of training organisations provide Hewitt courses around Australia. In addition, there is a range of EBS options available on the market, including rebreather, compressed air and hybrid options. To read the investigation report involving Oscar November Zulu and to learn more about the importance of Hewitt and EBS, search for AO-2020-003 on the ATSB's website. And to read the safety advisory notice for all helicopter operators engaged in overwater operations, search AO-2018-022-SAN-001. Dash dash